be removed. Honorable Ashley, I'm going to direct that you be removed. Honorable Ashley, I'm going to direct that you be withdrawn. Sergeant Adams, can you remove him? Can you remove him? Remove him. Remove him. Out. Honorable Ashley, out. Honorable Ashley, out of the chamber. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Yes, Honorable Chungwa. Mr. Speaker, while as, uh, I thank you for the firm action you have taken on the Honorable Ashiali. I think upon his return to this house, whenever he will return, if he ever returns, Mr. Speaker, he should be found completely to have been out of order to refer to the statement he referred saying that Kikuyus do not grow sugarcane. Because I was not objecting to what he was saying on the basis of being a Kikuyu or on the basis of representing the people of Kikuyu or for that matter Kikuyus, Mr. Speaker, sir. And sugarcane is not about the Luya nation and Luyas as a tribe. It's a crop that is important to this country and is a crop that touches on the lives of every other Kenyan. And Mr. Speaker, the other unfortunate statement that the Honorable Ashiali had alluded to, is the existence of two reports. Well, as we clearly know that what is before this House is the report that you have guided, that there is only one report that we are debating in the motion as amended. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, I will be asking, and uh, because I'm also very annoyed, Mr. Speaker, because of that reference to Kikuyu is not growing sugarcane. Because they are there, they are growing sugarcane in Mumias, they are growing sugarcane in Busia, they are growing sugarcane in Nyando, and they are also growing sugarcane somewhere in Lamu. And therefore, we cannot, we cannot, and heading to an election here, Mr. Speaker, we cannot allow such sentiments to be coming from the floor of this House. And we will therefore be moving a motion to name the Honorable Ashiali if he does not withdraw and apologize those very unfortunate statements that he has made on this floor. Because we are inciting Kenyans along ethnic lines, Mr. Speaker, at a time when we are all clearly seeking to unite the people of this country and debate issues on a sober mind and debate issues on the, based on the facts, as I alluded before the committee. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, let me say, although I, I may have gone to, to debating the motion, Mr. Speaker, that the issues the Honorable Ashiali wanted to raise in his amendments, Mr. Speaker, sir, even at the committee stage, we did guide him accordingly. And I said in my fidelity to the accounting profession that I, that, 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 that I have practiced, 